Here we are, one week from the official start of Art Prize 10 in Grand Rapids. Preview week starts today. Joining us live in studio, Kevin Beist, Art Prize's artistic director. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Already a week away. One week. Can you believe yes. it? But you know what? It, the weather is perfect right now, and this is preview week, so people yeah. can get out there and look around. Um, tell us some of the... Um, installations that people can go see right now oh man so uh yeah so preview week is really three things it's like you can catch artist installs as they happen some shows are already installed and open hours have begun and you can you can see those and there's also a whole host of events yeah um so a lot of partner events happening uh meyer gardens and the grand Rapids art museum both have member openings this week so if you're not a member become a member mm -hmm. get a get an early look at their art prize exhibitions and everything else they have going on um, all kinds of great stuff. We, we put a, um, a piece in the river just this afternoon, so that's oh, there, right, that's next to there. One, uh, right next to Anabuan Park. Um, and then, you know, through the weekend and early next week, there's going to be all kinds of installs happening. That's great. I mean, this week, 80 degree weather, all sunshine. It's just going to be perfect for yeah. it. And a lot of people gearing up for 10. I can't believe it's already been 10 years. I know. So tell us a little bit. There's also a new installation in the middle of Rosa Park Circle. Yes, yes, and that is not an artwork. What's happening in Rosa Parks Circle is the Art Prize Visitor Pavilion. Right. So over the last two, few years, a lot of Art Prize visitors have become familiar with the Art Prize Hub at 41 Sheldon, mm -hmm. which we hosted a lot of events at that space. It's a, it's a place to register to vote and wayfinding and all that stuff. Um, we're not doing so much there at 41 Sheldon. Instead, we're putting all the action right in the middle of town in Rosa Parks Circle, right in front of the Graphics Art Museum. And so we're going to erect this giant tent, which I think you saw on the screen there. Um, which is going to keep our events dry, even if it's raining. Things mm -hmm. are still going to be happening down there. Uh, there's great hands-on art activities for kids and families um, happening down there, as well as uh, info booth and registering to vote and all it's kinds of all stuff. all happening right there, so people yeah. can swing in and, and just get whatever information they need and take part in a little bit of artwork, too. Yeah. So also changing how things are done at the UI, UICA and also at Kendall College. Yes, so UICA has a really exciting program planned this year called UICA Outdoors. Mm -hmm. And what they've done is they've partnered with um, different community groups in various neighborhoods. And so rather than curating an exhibition for Art Prize inside their gallery space, at Fulton and Division. Instead, they're doing um, a number of sort of community-based murals all over the city. And so there's some on the west side, there's one in Creston, there's one um, actually way out in the southeast side in the Baxter neighborhood. So mm -hmm. outside of the normal footprint of Art Prize, uh, but some really amazing permanent murals going in as, as a part of this project. That's great too. Volunteers still needed? Volunteers are still needed, always. always. Yeah. Yes, go to artprize.org and you can find out how to volunteer. There's lots of great shifts. Uh, the volunteer lounge is amazing this year and lots of fun stuff happening there. Okay, so get involved too. Um, thanks for joining us. We'll be talking with you several times through Art Prize, I'm sure. I look forward to it. Yeah, thank you.